What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Kosem Fishing. Still no fishing, so we inside. Still trying to bring some content for you guys. And I think it's a pretty good video I have in store today. It's a video that I should have done a while ago because the last one I did was maybe a couple of years ago. This video is the top five laws, top five artificial baits for inshore fishing. This is my opinion. This is what I've used and caught a lot of fish with. Throughout the video, I'll have some footage of the fish that I I caught on each one, so you can take a look for yourself. These are my favorites. If you have others to add to the list, feel free to comment below, and maybe I could do a subscriber favorites updated, updated video, because we're inside right through now. So the top five inshore fishing, best inshore fishing laws, in my opinion, plus I'll train a little bonus to show was my favorite freshwater fishing law for wolf fish or wabi. So I'll be somewhere in the middle of the video somewhere, so look out for that as well. To start things off, we have an all-time favorite, which was my initial all-time favorite artificial. It's still my brother JLo one. You can guess what it is from that if you're watching the videos. Where's JLo favorite law? That is the Ozuri Crystal Minnow Redhead. Now this one is a big one. This one is a five and a quarter inch. This is the biggest size I'd recommend using, but the ideal size for inshore will be the three and a half inch. You take a look at it right here. The Uzuri Crystal Minnow is an excellent law. The law is well made. The hooks on the law are excellent. You don't have to change out the hooks. It's three, three prong hooks. So if you want to do single, then you change it out. But the hooks itself, very high quality. Now the two favorite colors are the two I have in my hand right here. The Redhead, exceptional. We have caught every kind of fish on the Redhead Crystal Minnow. Snook, Tap One, Snapper, Cavalli, Yellow Jack, uh, you name it, we have caught it on that redhead. Like I said, this was my first favorite artificial of all time. We just have on that one low and go on casting and catching all kind of fish with it. Things will change now, we could like to change up tactics and try different things, but it's original killer. And the black back, this one right here, the black back crystal minnow is the best law in my opinion, or one of the best. The other one, you'll see later in the countdown, for carrot or Spanish mackerel and also jacks. That one works fantastic for the carrot. You throw this in where, where there's carrot around and I'm almost sure if it's one law to get hit, it could be the Uzuri crystal minnow. So the crystal minnow, using it, there are different ways of using it as well. Retrieval wise, very simple, throw it and just wrap it in straight at a medium pace. That works fantastically well. The action in it with just a simple cast and retrieve is great. But then you could also throw and jerk and stop. I can use it as a, a true jerk beat, which is in effect what it is. So you throw it, cast it, jerk, stop, jerk, stop, jerk and wrap, jerk and wrap. And that's how you, another way to use it. But it's the simplest law to use of all the laws on the countdown. Throw and wrap in and fish attack it. And like I said, these laws are well made. The only negative to it a little bit is the price is a little bit expensive. But to me, I think it's totally worth it the price. Excellent laws and you can catch a lot of fish with it. Now going on straight on to number four on the list. That was number five so we're going on to number one. Number four on the list for me is a spoon. Inch of fishing, small spoons as you go up and looking for the bigger size fish use bigger spoons. Before inch of fishing I recommend two sizes a 10 gram and a 15 gram. Now the particular spoon that you use it depends on you. My all-time favorite was the fish insert spoon. We don't get them anymore. Um, but this regular spoon, anyone shaped like this, um, it works pretty well. These I got by Mr. Monkey. So they're available in Trinidad by Mr. Monkey. If you're looking at um, from the video from out of Trinidad, I'll put the links below for all the laws I'm showing here. So if you're looking for Amazon links, I'll put the links below the video to check out all the laws I'm showing in this video. So if you're interested in that, Mr. Maki has a wide selection. He has most of these I'm going to show you, but he mightn't have all. So again, you can check the Amazon links. And if you're out of Trinidad, check the Amazon links. All right, so the spoon, this is a lawyer throw when fishing is very tough. As you can see, it's a very simple piece of metal. It looks like a small fish. Everything also eats this law. And especially if you're targeting like jacks, yellow jack, karangas, um, small cavalli, Fishing from the beach, this is the perfect thing. Palometers, even snook up caught from the beach with these spoons. So for sure, this should be in your tackle box. So the spoon, like I say for inshore, 
10 gram, 15 gram, 20 gram, you should have those sizes readily available. As you go to fishing for bigger fish, um, of the rock, something, then you get the one ounce, uh, one and a half ounce, once you have the rod and reel to throw it. Now when you're using these spoons, there are a couple different ways to use them. One, of course, is to throw and wrap it in medium speed. Um, that usually works a lot of times. The other way is to throw it and wrap it quickly. Jacks and even carry it sometimes like a speedy retrieve. So you just throw it and wrap it as fast as you could without but keeping it on top, of the, on top of the surface of the water. The other way, you throw the, the spoon, you let it sink and you jig it. And you jig it. Jig and wrap, jig and wrap. So that's a very effective way as well. You can target bottom fish with it. And one way for sure that you need to try is to throw it and let it drag along the bottom. Retrieve it slowly. I have a video where we were catching snook in Tobago one after the next just by slow rolling these same kind of spoons. Throwing it, let it get to the bottom and just rolling the dragon along the bottom. The vibration and the action of it, it drives those fish wild. So different ways of retrieving it, try them out. So a spoon is number two or number four. Now going down the list, this one might be a bit of a surprise. There's a lot that I recently fell in love with. And that is simply because the kind of fishing that I do. I mean, I'm not an expert in any kind of fishing, but the fishing that I enjoy the most, and I think I have the most expertise in, is inshore fishing. I'm always learning as well in this type of fishing. And this is a law that I picked up within the last year or so. And this is this small apex law. I got this by Mr. Monkey. Again, I'll look for the link and put it below for you. This law is a small law, as you can see. So I pull this out when nothing else is working. Sometimes you go fishing somewhere, you throw all your favorite laws and again, any bites. Maybe the fish a little bit picky, maybe the fish are a little bit smaller than you're expecting, but a big fish will take this law as well. Maybe they just didn't want to attack a big law at the time. And with this, you can work it in many different ways. So one of the ways you can work it, you throw it, you let it sink and you pop it. It looks like a little shrimp. Which fish doesn't eat a little shrimp? The other way, you can throw it and jig it and wrap it in. It looks like a little minnow. So a, a, if it looks like a little shrimp or a little minnow, I think every fish will eat that. And again, when I was fishing, I took a, I don't know if you watched that video, a walk on Mayaro Beach, trying all different type of laws. Nothing was working. I put this on and I'm catching a couple of really nice snook. Also, I've done some fishing trips with ZZ. I didn't have the, the, those on footage, but we've been fishing for snook. They weren't taking anything else. Put this on and start to jig it. I end up catching a couple when nothing else was working. So for sure, I'd recommend this in your inshore tackle kit. If you're in the US and you're looking to use this, it'll be great for crappie or sunfish. I'm 100% sure they will attack it feverishly. So use it and work it in different ways. All right guys, before we get into the top two laws, my top two laws presently for inshore fishing, I'm gonna show you the bonus law for freshwater fishing in Trinidad to target wabine or wolfish. In the States, it's a very fav it's a favorite law for bass as well, and that is the spinner bait, double blade spinner bait, quarter ounce or half ounce is what I recommend. This is the best law in my opinion to target wolfish or wabin. You throw it, a couple different ways to retrieve it. You throw it, wrap it in steadily. The other way is to throw it, let it sink to the bottom, and then drag it across. If this pass across uh, wabin, he's going to take it. And the double blade, I think is what works the best. Like I said, it could be half onks or the quarter onks. These, I'll definitely put the link below for these because you can't get this in Trinidad. Um, so I'll put the link below, you can get it on Amazon. Different types of blade there is, but the double blade is what I think works the best. And the half onks or one onks. You would have seen a lot of videos where me and ZZ, we caught a lot of wolf fish. And this is the most effective law. You can normally put like a trailer on it, um, a grub tail, or even a soft plastic. Um, attach it to here and even works even better. Gives a little more body, a little more vibration in the water. And I think that's what prompts the strike from the wolf fish, the reaction bite. So get this as well, if you want to do some freshwater fishing. Uh, you could throw it on spinner, spinner in rods. Um, ideally, it should be on bait casting. Um, it's the best way to fish it, but you could use it on spinning rods. I have done it. I've seen some videos of me catching my, I think my PB Wabin was on one of these, um, throwing on a spinning rod. So get this for local freshwater fishing. Now we'll be down to the top two laws for inshore fishing. Anybody can guess what the top two are? All right, well, everyone knows this is my, one of my favorites for sure. The DOA Cal. You cannot go wrong with this. It comes in at number two. A DOA Cal on a jig head. 
uh, one sixteenth, one eighth, one quarter ounce jigged, and a diocal is effective anywhere inshore for any kind of fish. Snook, tarpon, snapper, cavalli, whatever fish swims inshore is going to take a diocal. The size of the diocal I think is perfect, three and a half inches. And when you pair it with the correct size jig head, it works excellently. Now the jig head size that you're going to use depends on how deep you want to fish it. Um, a 1 is if you fish in very shallow water. Um, you don't want to go too close to the bottom because it might have some snags. Uh, 1 8 ounce is normally the most all-round size jig head you use. And the type of jig head is also important. There's the longer one, which I recommend, the longer thinner one, which I recommend for snook, and the broader, thicker one, which I recommend for top one. You got a selection of those in the, in the inch socket. Uh, let me get a, show you quickly what I'm talking about. Right, so this one is for the snook. It's perfect for the snook. Uh, you see it's a thinner hook, but the only thing when you're fishing top on it, the hook can tend to bend out if you're not fighting it with a light enough drag. The Dewey Kali three colors I recommend. Well, my all time, all time favorite, electric chicken, pink and green. Don't know what about this color but the fish just goes with it like crazy. The next one is the one I also recommend in the past, is the Glow. This color works great, especially it works well in dirty water and also works well in the nighttime. It's a Glow. And my new favorite, which I use a lot, is the Glow and Gold Belly. This one I just seen, it just for me works excellently. It looks the most realistic of all the ones that I use. So in clearer water, this is the one I tend to go for. It has the glow on top, but the same gold, shimmery, looking like a real actual bait fish. For sure, if there's one law in your tackle kit that you must have for inshore fishing, the Dewey Cal on jig heads. Get yourself some one eight ounce jig heads, some quarter ounce jig heads, put on a Dewey Cal and throw it. If it's a fish in the water, you're going to catch one of them. All right, and working these laws, again, different ways to work it. My favorite is a throw, let it sink and pop. Let it sink and pop with a steady retrieve. Throw, let it sink and pop. Most of the time you see me flicking the tip of my rod tip. The action I'm trying to get is trying to make this tail swim as much as possible. The tail swims by itself, but when you give that rod tip a little extra wiggle in it, the tail does goes crazy. And the tail is what I think attracts the fish in this law. It's very well made. The price of the dairy cows are excellent. The price is probably one of some of the best. The laws don't last as long as some other soft plastic but you make up for that with the price. You get a pack of 12. Again, the link for this meal will be below. Mr. Mankey has them as well. I think it's around 35, 30 dollars. You cannot go wrong with that price in Trinidad and Tobago. So again, get this and put it in the tackle box. All right, so onto the number one inshore fishing law for me. Personally, this is my favorite. And it is so because the kind of fish I've caught on it. And that is the Yozuri Twitch this law right here. These laws right here, Yuzuri Twitch. This size is my favorite size. There's a smaller size, which I think is the more all-round size. It'll catch more fish with it. But I love this particular size because it's the size of fish that you want to target. Yuzuri Twitch, excellently made law. The hooks, fantastic, strong, durable, put up to the test. You can catch any size of fish with it. The law is well made. The body, hard, you can take relics. And the weight, if you look inside it, if you shake it, you will hear the rattle. It makes a rattle as well. And that weight inside it is what gives you the ability to cast this law further than many other hard plastics. This is the best buy for inshore fishing. The price of it as well, you cannot go wrong. The colors, well, my favorite is the mullet color, the black back, and this one right here, the green, call it EU, but it's not really an EU. But these are my three, that's my three favorite colors. Now the fish I've caught with this, I've caught my best ever fish with this law right here in my hand. That was my monster snook off the beach, caught it with this. As well, if you watch the last Tobago video, I caught a really nice yellow jack with this. Um, I think it was this color I was using for the yellow jack, or this one, one of these. And also, I've caught, I think it was my PB carrot with one of these as well. So this law is my number one right now. I mean, DOA is very close. I mean, I use the DOA in most places I go, and it always works. But just the fish I've caught with this law have been monsters. And you know, the bigger the fish, the better. And the reason it's my favorite, catches big fish, very well made, hooks, body, 
and the ability to cast it very far. If you don't have one of these, get it as soon as possible. It is the best inshore law, in my opinion. How you work it, cast it. How I try, like, try to work this as most often, I cast it, and I'm always wrapping and moving the rod tip. In a quick twitch motion, let it come through the water. This law works wonders. You could also throw, sweep your rod, and wrap. Sweep and wrap. Um, not really a law you can let sink that often, and then pop. Um, you can try it as well, but that's not what I recommend for it. Best way is to keep the law moving, and it drives those fish crazy. Like I said, it's the best law for inshore fishing, in my opinion. All right, guys, so that's my top five laws for inshore fishing. Like I said, I'm far from an expert in any type of fishing, always learning, but I think inshore fishing is where I am best at. It is also my favorite type of fishing. I'd rather do inshore fishing than any other kind of fishing. For me, it's the most challenging and also the most rewarding. Being land-based, searching for fish, different territories, different areas, trying different tactics, and limited by the ability not to go and find the fish anyway with a boat or anything like that, is the most challenging. And when you catch a nice fish from shore, you kind of feel better than that. So it's my favorite type of fishing and I think it's what I'm best at as well. And those laws I just recommended are laws that have worked for me and I definitely recommend for everyone else to get. If you've never tried inshore fishing with artificials, I also rec highly recommend you try it. I'll put a link below this video as well for what I recommend for inshore fishing setup for Rod and Reel. Take a look at that video and then get yourself some of these laws and go and start casting. The next thing with inshore fishing, you could fish any and everywhere. One star water, give it a try. River, pond, lagoon, beach, sea, ocean, any kind of water you see, give it a try. You never know what lives there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to do some more videos like this. Always comment below and recommend what you'd like to see. And what's your favorite inshore laws as well? Comment below. Maybe I might know about it. I maybe I might give it a try. And the next video I do might become one of my favorites. It's all about sharing knowledge and enjoying the sport and the hobby of fishing. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Till the next one, keep fishing, fish on. Nice fella. I'm going to try and grab it here. Yo, Krell, good. Oh, see bait going too far, boy. Oh, yes. You can't, brother. Close. On the black bat, guys. What if I hurt with the waiters? Wait, man, he on the edge. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Nice yellow jack boy. Nice too bad. Yellow jack central here, boy. I hope I get some good footage, the GoPro can actually shake up my head, but nice yellow jack. Oh, this little bit working in that corner. Whoa, come on, buddy. Hope you guys can see this. This one's bigger. This one's even bigger. What the hell? <laughs> in the rain. Check it out guys, 9, maybe 16 inches. Missed it. Yeah, fish on, tap on. Small tap on. Let's see if you can see the fellas, you have to jump and show these fellas. Is that a small one? Scoop him there. Just putting it underneath him. Underneath him. Put it, get it again from your head first. Head. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Let's see him. So, this is what you call a tap on, guys. This is literally a baby. 
same thing? Yes, correct. Yeah. It's the same thing? Yeah. So was why have to repeat? The, the international name yeah. is Tapo. Oh, the other pose yeah. up. Well, uh, yeah, catch things up. I'm sure that is. Trian's name is Grand Ikai. Grand Ikai? Grand Ikai is where you come from. Lad skill. Yeah, um, you do I have a review on that one already? Just out, just out close. Just out, mate. Just out close. 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 Pull him right in! Pull him right in! Pull him right in! Pull him! Pull him. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Big snuck! Pull him there! Pull him down there! Pull him down there! Pull him there! Pull him down 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 Pull him down I've been cold for so long